Hi, I'm here with Dr. Mikesh. Or Mikesh, <laughs> lovely to meet you. You I've, too, great to see you. I've been uh, following you on Twitter for a long time, so it's good to meet you in the yeah, flesh. Likewise, it's one of the joys of Twitter. You can actually meet people and then when you really meet them, you can say hi properly. Definitely, definitely. And so we're talking uh, today about global health. So what's your opinion regarding social media and how that relates to global health? Well, global health is something that we in countries like Australia have a great interest in, in understanding and participating in and certainly many of our junior doctor colleagues and the students coming through, as well as many in established practice, want to do something, something meaningful, something meaningful in global health. And this is one way they can keep in touch with what's going on, contribute, and see what opportunities they have in doing things actively to help causes internationally. So one of the big talking points at the moment is Ebola with the crisis. Look, e Ebola is the, the topic that's uh, meeting everybody at the moment. Um, you have great blogs from people like in South Africa which show, you know, and I've actually tweeted this, if you look at my Twitter, you can see it, um, about how they've stopped flights to Africa, but not the virus. And, you know, other quips like that that actually paint a picture very succinctly. So in the, you've got to do a certain number of characters, 140, you've got to make your point and make it well and very firmly. Yeah. And so how do you see social media really connecting people regarding something as important as the Ebola crisis? Well, the issue with Ebola is it's one facet of a failed system and failed infrastructure and failed aid programs which very much go silo by silo and you actually need a process that goes across and helps people into the future, not the here and now. So you need to build the systems and you need to have a good supply of information and services and in interventions from pre-diagnosis, try and prevent people getting Ebola, early diagnosis and isolation, through to treatment and supported treatment in, in hospitals, making sure the healthcare support personnel are well protected, and then unfortunately if people do succumb and die, how you actually dispose of, sensibly how you dispose of um, the, the deceased. And what's the favourite thing that you find about social media and being able to communicate with your audience? What I love about the social media is you have an interaction with people you wouldn't have a, you know, a, a snow, snowflake's chance of catching in not real life. And you know what? Sometimes they respond. And sometimes they give you some tips. And sometimes they actually ask you for tips. And that's the beauty of it. There is no airs and graces about social media used correctly and used properly. And it's very beneficial to you and your knowledge. And you can actually add to others' knowledge and join up a community to work on certain topics which are actually important. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.